hopefully everyone uh watching the stream is is still good here i had an obs disconnect well i think we just froze now Right in the middle of the South Four. Oh, there it goes. No, just a long lag on it. Oh, there's the four. So it's going to deal in. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, the double road. Oh, no, the double road. Tanya Chinitsu. And Richie Pinfu. Oh. Ura, two. And that's going to give Brett first place, I think, because the Ura. What a finish. Yeah, with the Ura, two there, the second flip, one Ura would have been. Second place, but Tour gives Brett the huge win there. Jackson just feels stolen, builds that absolute monster in South Four for the Chinitu Tanyo Hanemon. Doesn't take the quick thousand points, you just get over 30k and still wins, but gets 17.1. And Tyler's sitting there going, I got 41,000 and I just got third place. What just happened? And Sky there was doing not great, but at least above water there until that last hand and deals in for 20,000 with that four. So. Oh, and I'm, I'm worried that uh, chat wouldn't have seen any of that because it looks like the stream is down. Maybe. Oh, and question I'm, mark. I'm are we back? That... Give me some answers, people. Oh, came back just in time. Insane. Wow. Yeah, we had three people temp by, and Brett flips Aura 2 there for the comeback at the very end. And just that is really rough for Sky. Tragedy. And really rough for Jackson, who, again, just looks at a thousand points and says, no, we can do better than that, and does. I mean, tragedy for also Tyler, who was in first place, was looking good to, to take the game and ends up getting a third out of that. Wow, we'll have to look at the uh, the standings after this result. And Tyler continues to climb, still fifth place. Jackson back in the sixth spot overall. Yeah, and Sky off that really rough ending there drops all the way down below zero into, I believe, 17th. And oof. Yeah, well, we'll have to re reclaim all the points that she picked up earlier. Uh, plenty of time to do so still. There's two games left in this series as well as the entire second half of the season. Uh, that being said, it looks like um, we can shift around to another table. Uh, All right, sounds good. In the meantime, let me get some scores in here. In B3, Nancy took a first place with 31.9. William S., or Lord Whale, 12.8. Jeffrey S. in third, minus 14.9. And Garrett in last at minus 29.8. In C1, that is the game we just had. And in A1, Steve coming back from the dead is kind of sitting there in a really rough situation in A1, gets a plus 47.5. Claire in second, minus 4.1. Oliver third, minus 10.8. And Garrick in last with minus 32.6. Yeah, and it looks like uh, we may be switching to that A1 series as the A2 table we're looking at is, is almost finished with their, their series. So let's get a full game in of A A1. So I need to check the standings then, because that's going to be some shifting. I know that Steve was down around minus 140, is now all the way, still in last, but only at minus 94.6. It's going to be Garrick down to minus 29. Claire is sitting at 3.7 in the positives overall. And the last player at this table is Oliver who is in sixth at 35.4 overall. Yeah, it looks like... And we uh, come in and see Garrett going for one of his favorite hands, which is Chanta. Not just Chanta, Chanta Yakuhai Dora 3. But there's only one nine month left to be able to complete that Chanta, but I imagine you just call for anything with Dealer Mongon like that. Absolutely. Six oh, months. that three, so I don't like that at all. 
I'm drinking Sanshugu too. Yeah, the the path of Sanshugu is a little odd, but it it is technically a route there. Well, it's more that I don't think the the eight pin does much for this hand anyway. But on the right, we have a potential Itsu there. Looking for the Itsu Dora Tonki, but that's not going to work out. Across the way, Pinfu, not really there yet. On the left, Ishan Ten for Richie Pinfu Peiko. Looking for that three mon. Well, there's our Tempai. Oh my goodness. Richie. Richie. Hits the butt on oh. the Sushi 8 pin. <laughs> this is, uh. This is disgusting. This is sneaky. How is the eight pin looking? It's one in the wall versus the odd Yaman with one nine mon cut. Now, this may be a problem just from the tiles that got discarded. This might look a bit like a cheat toy. Oh, no, but not enough but for instead, Oliver. it does come out from Oliver. So the bait works. Richie, Haku, Dora, three, Uda! Aura, one, gets the Hanemon anyway. And Garrick says, you know what? I can come back from a, from a last. Just watch me. And if you're Doesn't Oliver, in Chanta goes for the <laughs> trap weight, and Oliver just walks in. I, I, I wonder if there's any world where um, Garrick's like people believe I'm going for Chanta because I do it so frequently. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this instead. <clears throat> well, it certainly worked out for him, and he's at forty eight thousand now with a nice little hand here. Does two pen chun though. But most likely a Richie Pinfu, maybe a Tanya now on the right. Bunch of pairs and what, four of them? Could five. be Chi Toy, Dora 2. Five, yeah, this is actually Ishan 10. Also a potential Rion Peiko upgrade. Across the way, also really nice starting out here for Richie, Tanya, Dora, maybe any Peiko later. But also could be Chi Toy. Now that you have three pairs, a long way off though. And on the left, Clearly the worst hand of the bunch, but maybe an Itsu in So. And dealer now, still Rian Shanten, looking for a pair most likely. Then gets the upgrade to a potential Ipeko. Hand on the right, still stuck in Ishanten. Hand across, working towards probably his Tanya Novi now. Does pass the two pin pawn option. Oh, a seven pin is a really annoying draw. So Oliver's going to cut the five so here. Maybe hedge towards Suwanko later. Yeah, North, not really the t first time you want to call for a toy toy shift here. So we'll yeah, pass. I think that's normal. And Claire has some options here. Which block do you want to cut down, or do you just want to completely get rid of the 8 6? Cuts the 3 pin. I believe that is the most efficient cut. Yeah, Does holds... make the hand a little harder to maneuver, though. Right, just holds all the shapes. And you still have decisions to make even here. I'd throw that back. If you're not even considering Cheat Toy, it doesn't do much. Instead, cuts the 8-pin. That may have been a sucky gear. Get rid of it now. I, but I think if you're going to do that, you do that last turn. Now, Garrick holds an extra 4-pin. The problem is a lot of the upgrades here are going to put him 4 10 Yeah, really needs to draw the 2-5-pin first, and we'll most likely end up cutting the 4-pin anyway. In fact, I, I wonder if the 4-pin is even use, that useful here. Over the six eight. Claire now Ishan ten for potentially Richie Pinfu Tanya Dora. Uh well there's your backfire for Garrick. Oh, but here's the door draw for Oliver, and yeah, you know, he is waiting on the eight pin. Just Dama's on the last eight pin. Will not come out from this hand from Claire. I don't see any reason for her to ever cut it. Yeah, and Oliver's definitely planning on swapping. Oliver's so looking for an upgrade. Well, plus you also don't really want to have that. The oh, well, there's our Richie. Richie Pinfu Tanya potentially Peko for Garrick. Gee. So not very Claire's alive. like, okay, we'll just call for Tempai ourselves then, waiting on Dora. There is one of those in the wall. This may be the tie you chase with, though. That 8-pin looks really bad. Oh, it does shove it, though. South is not live at all. It's 
completely dead. Oh, you're right. It's completely dead. I think it's just a mystery then. Yeah, it's pretty and easy. And Claire to miss draws one. the deal in tile of two, so and just folds from it. Good defense there. Fifty ten, but four it's... mon is Nakasuji, but it also be forty ten. Technically more alive than the South. Oh no, actually, uh, yeah, it is has one left. Three pun on the other hand looks okay, I guess. There's one out, but you figure there are at least two used in hands, and you have the last one, so it is in fact also dead. Yeah, at the very least, you don't want to drop it. Claire does not find Tempa here, so we'll just play her safest tile, and it will be which is the four pin Nakasuji, and going to be two players Tempa. Garrett continues the run here, doesn't get the big win though. We'll get a net of five hundred off that hand, and we'll be dealer again. Yeah, Garrick probably with the vibe of when I reach you the Jamin weight, it doesn't win. When I reach you some weird Suji trap, it does win. So I should just continue to do the weird weights. No, has a Richie Dora, maybe Richie Pinfu Dora type hand. He's the eight pin door indicator on the right. Pinfu, nothing fancy there. Oh. Three, so it would really help across the way. Pinfu, again, not much fancy there. And on the left, Chun Pon. And just trying to get the thousand to be done with his hand. There are some late Sanjaku shifts, but even then, it's just a thousand, two thousand. Imagine Steve just going to go as fast as possible. Garrick's seven pin pickup is kind of interesting. Ooh, into six so draw. So now is very nice, Ishantan. Uh, not all the Tempais use the Dora, but if you're not using the Dora, you're almost certainly getting Tanyao and Pinfu as well. Maybe Peiko. Yeah, Peiko would be just the best draw here. Six pin, a uh, six mon rather. Oh, I actually don't like that cut. I cut the nine there because, like, Sanchuku. Yeah, Sanchuku is is a uh, an idea here. Like Sanchuku versus Dora. In this case, your Sanchuku is confirmed. Well, it depends. If you draw the pair, six pin, but, but yes. Oh, there's Tempai on the left. I mean, you have to call that. Trying to decide who wants the 2 4, and there's going to be the Tempai, and there's going to be the Richi, Richi, Pinfu, Tanya, waiting on 3 6. And it's actually not that good in the wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a 2 left in the wall. At the same time, Claire's looking at that pawn and going, uh, what do I do? One pin. Could have thrown the safe 5. It doesn't seem particularly safe against Steve here. Boom. And Garrett was willing Throws to throw... the East, gets called to interrupt the. Ipatsu. Which ended up being a relatively safe tile anyway. Oh, well, that's not safe. Well, there's the winning tile. That would be Steve's winner. Yeah, Steve would have sumoed off of that one. Looking at a Steve with more tiles in the wall than the Garrick still. Three versus two. Shunten for Oliver. I don't know if he can fight here, but... And Formon looks too bad to Steve to continue his throws a Suji 2-pin. <laughs> uh, what a sumo the very next turn. Okay, Could cut the four here, but technically Tempai just waiting on the Formon, which is dead. That is not Tempai. Would have been if the two mon had been capped, but he is not as of right now. Yeah, so a little bit dangerous if Oliver draws something like the five, so. Also clears the four pin for Steve. Oh, this is tempo. Well, now you have an option, but if you throw the three, you deal in, and no. that's going to be it. Three T pin for Tanya. Oh. Andy, Aura, and Garrett just rolling. 61, 62,000. And Oliver with two huge deal ends. Now Garrick manages to hit Uda for another 12,000 points and uh, definitely commanded. Fortunately for Oliver, taking the brunt of it here. The, the other two are, you know, they've lost 1,500 due to Yukoku payments, but they're still sitting pretty comfortably here. Now Garrick looks into places with Oliver after this game. Yeah, good 
developed that way. But Garrick with a nice little Rishi Pinfu hand on the right. Maybe Chinitsu also could just go regular Pinfu across the way. East has been pulled, has a floating Dora, so probably finding a Dora Tonki. And on the left, few pairs, but not much there yet. Can now use the two so Dora for Rishi Dora, I guess, but it's a long way off. This East call from Claire, similar to Steve's uh, last hand, it, just trying to shut the game down with three home bar. I mean, there is a chance that you can use the Dora, but actually, if you draw two pin, would you Dora Tonki? Yes. Two so is a little bit trickier for other players to use the Dora. Nothing around the table indicating that it's very cheap though not not a lot of sozu have been discarded in fact you're the only player uh claire yeah lower sozu looks very expensive right now but i'd still go for the value Garrick slowly improving these shapes i'm not sure i know she not sure even wants that upgrade yeah i'll kind of hedge everything Eat. cutting form on and there's our template on the right this is a shampoo I think, yeah, Shampoo and 3-mon, 8-so, and now we have Tempai on 3-so across the way. Interesting the 4-pin wasn't pulled. I definitely would have pulled and it got 1-so. Reading a little extra value out of that hand. Because I don't think the 3-so is any better than the 2-so. But remember, it's Claire. She's waiting on the sun. Yeah, there's maybe some cultish behavior going on here. <laughs> Oh, there's the two. And so. punish. Well, let's see. If there was a Because she'd assume on it. She'd assume on yeah. it. Yeah. See, even more reason. Because that would have been extra fool. That would have gotten... Would that have been? No, not quite. Not quite. It would have been four, two, two, two. So not 12. And even still, Garrick is Ishantan here. Tempai technically. Does he want to fight? That is Tempai. We'll just Daba for now. Simo. Okay, well, it does win on Sanzo. <laughs> now look, is it Gets more 3, important... 3,900 out of it. More important to win the points or to win on Sanzo for the memes? These are questions that we all have to ask ourselves. Well, Oliver now finally gets to his dealer turn and sees a negative in front of his hand. Well, that score and has a couple pairs of nines, but that's about all. Maybe moving towards Junchan, but with the Formon being Dora, unlikely... So I think you just play efficiently and see what happens on the right. That's just Honitsu. That's a very simple hand. Cross the way. Hatsu pair. May just be a call and go. There isn't much value, even if you really build for it. On the left, Richi Pinfu. Maybe some sort of 5-6-7 Sanchku later. Yeah, this feels like, uh, you know, if I was in Oliver's hand, uh, position, I couldn't see any of the hands across the table. I'd be looking at this hand thinking, I'm going to get Tempai eventually, or I'm going to get like Ishanten with kind of awkward shapes. And then someone's declared Rigi, and all of his work will have gone for naught because it's just such a, a struggle to put something together. It is Jian Shantan right now with a Jian Khan and a, you know, 113 shape, 56, but you still have to draw almost perfectly to, to even get there. In the meantime, well, the nine pin's looking okay. The problem is Claire has the last two, so it's useless. Right. Claire showing Honitsu type uh, discards. It's now starting right. to discard. And Ishan the... 10 for both Cheetoy and a regular Honitsu. Exactly. Starting to cut these Yakuhai, you're, you're feeling you're almost out of time. Generally around this point, you see two honors. It's either Ishanten or occasionally Rianshanten. But I definitely pay attention to it. The next Tadashi I see from the end, I'm going to assume Tempai. If I'm at this table. Eric still holding out for the Sanchuk on the left. And Oliver does pull an Ishanten now. Well, also draws a door. Just throws it back, though. Says, no, it's not useful. Throw it back. Well, there is a monster Tempai across the way for Eat. Steve. Given how the four or seven are kind of dying, you figure no one still has it in their hands, but the problem is they are. 
and Garrick draws the Shonpai Hatsu, goes with the Gamba to 5 Mon. Keeps the Shunten that way. And there's Tempai on the right. I imagine you just Dama this, especially the Gimbutsu Hellweight 8 10. Yeah, still chance to come the way. Ukon upgrades to. Oh, into Tempai. Into Tempai. Ricci. New doors the Claire east. Claire has to look Are you serious? And it's Gimbutsu to both of them now. If you're Claire, are you. Yeah, this moves away. I mean, if she gets. Suanko draws. Oh, the oh, Dora! Oh, draws the Dora and deals in, and Oliver just continues crashing. Reach. Ah, oh, of course there's an Udon. It wasn't even from the Khan either. And just like that, Oliver in a world of hurt. But E3 here, Clara has Hatsu pair. And the rest of the shapes aren't great, but maybe some 1 and 2 plays or even 1 2 3 Sanchu later on the right. And then there'll maybe a 1 2 3 Sanchu there as well. Hands a bit of a mess. Cross the tune pair, call and go, not much value. But on the left, it's just not much value. No one has value. The speed's awful for these hands. I'm not thrilled with any of them. The best is probably Garrick, which may just be 2,000 waiting on the Dora. Home. Yeah, Claire will certainly try to fight uh, for her dealership here. And she has a way to connect to the door, and once she does that, could even think about going the Garrick route? One, two, three, Sanchu, and Chanta. I mean, if you draw it, yes, but you're still a long way off. Yeah, especially after filling that middle Diamond in the Sozu. Easy, Paul. Whoa, 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 why did Garrick not pull that? It does feel like uh, just moving forward in Shantan is okay. I th I think, actually, that... Um, he may be just sitting on this lead a bit, saying, I think so. well, okay, just figure he's going to draw it. So one of the things Garrick's mentioned in the past is sometimes he'll get up to a really you know nice lead and then just lose it and maybe still get the first place but not get as many points as he probably should have. So maybe he's taking that into consideration in this current position, saying, I'm going to not open myself up to danger with that pull and as a result finds himself just nicely into tempi on this two mon yeah the 2000 waiting on dora just like Home. i thought it was going to be <laughs> that two little styles in the wall though claire opening up now dion shantem tempi for oliver oh the Don't. three mon comes out I mean, just Dama says, I want to win something. It's fine. Yeah, that does bring Claire below 30,000, so still probably a little too yeah, early. Yeah, but it's East 4, you don't... Right. But even so, it, it's something. Like you said, one uh, hand. Oliver says, I, I'm Yaki Tori. I do not want to be Yaki Tori. I'll just take my win and move this hand along. So it is East 4. East 4 with Steve as the dealer. Oh, it looks like we were frozen, so let's let's get a quick refresh here. It looked like a relative average hand for Steve there. Well, I see there's been a... Yeah, not surprise, surprise, Garrett going for a Sanchoku. Slash Chanta. Yeah, oh, yeah, just one, two, three, Sanchoku, not even going to be... Oh, there's two Dora. Okay, a little bit more than, than just the Sanchoku. Cross the way, Pinfu hand, nothing fancy on the left. Pinfu hand, maybe Itsu. And for dealer, looking to call the Haku, probably. Tries to get some value out of this, but the draws just keep moving it towards Penchon. It says, well, we'll get rid of one Penchon and even keep the floating five over it. And likely we'll try to just call to match the speed of Garrick. You have to be concerned that Garrick is making a Sanchoku here because uh, the early honor cuts indicate it's probably not Chanta, it's probably not Honitsu. Uh, Itsu is possible, and Garrick is actually hedging Itsu here as well. Oh, will we Well, may just go for it now. Nope, not even considering it. Yeah, what do you think is more reliable here, the Itsu or the Sanchoku? Well, I can see all four sevens because I have the cheat chair, so <laughs> I'm going to say that's my answer. All right, good move, Garrick. 
Oh, this is this would be so Garrick to cut cut five mon five mon. <laughs> That'd be so much of a loss <laughs> of value, though. I mean, you get Junchan. No, no, the four, five, oh, you... six in the hand. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know why I thought that was going to be. Junchan. Oh, oh, oh! That's actually a really awkward draw. So hear me out. We pair up a four so five so or six so and hold all three. Draws. I mean, that's obviously the plan. And if you get the twos. Yeah, we just take the tempi. The worry is that Oliver is getting close to tempi. The five months close to dealing in. And that's a... Yeah, and Oliver is the type of person who will dom a lot of this type of stuff. Especially if you can get Tanya Pifu, Sancho Kudora. Well, there's a Dora, and that's not coming out. And that's a huge draw for Steve. Not a very wide issue. Oh, you can cut the four, five, six shape in its entirety here now. <laughs> True. Honestly, I think I would. Well, there's your seven. So it looks like it too was the play. Gee. There is the five. Uh, Oliver looking for a 5 8 pin really to add the extra Han. Two pin is acceptable, but not really the one he wants. B2000 compared to. Compared to the 39, yeah. Pump. A pump for Tempai. Steve will take it. Taka's still walled. Yeah, I kind of wondering where they are. Oh, found it. Well, that's the answer. <laughs> Haku no me for Steve, but they were a couple expensive hands. Oh, speaking of expensive hands, hello. Wow, I mean, even Daisongen here, but even otherwise, just Honitsu, Shosongen, two door, or even a really disgusting chi toy. Ugh, that would be a truly disgusting chi toy. The chun might die. All right, self. On the right, self pair and didn't call the first that came out. Other shapes are okay, but there's no real value there. And Steve not going to hedge towards the Honitsu Chi toy. Going to keep the two, four, six Ryankan and as many of these dragons as he can. Of course, at keeping the dream alive. Cross the way, Pin Fu, nothing fancy. And on the left, Pin Fu, maybe a seven eight nine Sanju. Now with that draw, you can even think of Junchan. And now two tunes out. Steve will still hold out. Can use the final one as a may pin. even just be holding it as a safe tile, thinking the two pin reel doesn't do much for the hand anyway. And I pretty much agree. Right. Wider Ishanten. Ishanten on the right for Chi Toy. Yeah, it could be Chi Toy. Could be Peko. Could just call for. Well, Yankohai. it's definitely Chi Toy now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Chi. Claire says, Junjun, Junjun Sanchku, and there's our cheat toy. Oh, look at this trap. Waiting on the Suji 9 pin. Claire? That is not. Well, yeah, it could, yeah, that would yeah. not be Tempai. You could get Tempai without a Yaku. But, oh, well, Steve didn't care. Steve's pushing. Yaku Hai, Dora. Chi. At that's huge clear cheese that shape so she's not going to deal in immediately that means there's only one nine pin left of the wall despite this amazing trap and uh, now we have a real decision for steve you cut the door into this which is nakazuji takes the three so this is such an ugly sh oh upgrade waiting on four seven haku gambu I guess the seven so is uh, dead, so that doesn't matter so much. But oh yeah, it's been cheated. You're right. Oh no, that's so safe. And that's Tempai, no. and it gets thrown and deals in. Reach Chi Toy. I was expecting you to no flip. aura, but Garrick is on a roll. These Suji trap Reachies are just destroying this table. Note to self: When I play Garrick, don't trust Suji. Oh, and just look at that starting hand. Ishanten uh, for Richie. Round and round, then. On the right, 
a privilege called the Haku and Go. Rian Shunten, headless. Well, no, not headless. 355, so a bit away. Across the way to Dora. East is no longer Yakuhai, as we're in South Rami, a 567 Sonshku. On the left, Chun Pair. A few other pairs could go Chitoy. You're going to have kind of an interesting choice there after drawing the three pin. Uh, uh, spoiled for choice in terms of which Diamond to choose. A lot of times you discard the middle one and, and take your class A Diamond on the, on the outside, winning on the terminal tile. But because two of the one pins in bit cut, said, you know what? I just like my odds better in the middle in the Monsi, although a lot of those tiles are being held. That three so is an effect. Yeah, four so. If we hold the three so, the four so would complete the shape there. Whereas in the current position, it will will not. So. And of course, it is also. Still looking for the uh, Haku. I mean. Claire discarded it, but Oliver was not content to open up so early. Still use on 10, but now can accept another Dora. Tempai across the way? Tempai declined. Want some more value out of this. Uh, maybe you missed out on any pots because the... Uh, oh, no, no, there's a pot. Never mind. Yeah, I think the East was dead, so... Would just be waiting on the door at that point. Although the door actually is kind of live here with all these three so being cut. And Garrick, despite the Eat. incredible start, and not able to find Tempai, instead well, Claire taking the Ricci, three-sided, two, five, eight pin. Ricci, uh, door two. Sumo. Yeah, there's a Sumo for Oliver. We'll shut things down. Oliver says, well, I'm not Yaki Tori. Trying to... But especially if you can keep Claire under 30k, you at least won't pay the full minus 20. And we'll be dealer here with a chance to do something, just not really. Yeah, not really the hype you're looking for. Maybe you could turn this to Tanya. You've got multiple pairs that you could start to open up with. On the right, Claire has a door shape. Maybe 3 or 5 Sancho is possible. Crossway, beautiful shapes for Steve, uh, for Tanya. Uh, actually, that's already Ishantan. And it has a choice now. Could cut the 4-6 uh, Mon and play Gee. for potentially Peiko, but chooses against it. Holds, holds the more uh, variation in the suits for the shapes. And we see two calls for Garrick. Already temp by now. Waiting on that 9-pin again. Well, that seems to be his tile this series. Well, how about Shatanki? You can tell he wants to. And there it goes. And there Dealer is. pairs no. up the east, and there's Shatanki. But Garrett can do no wrong in this game, always choosing the right way. When you're right in the flow, boy, you're right in it. So we're in South 3, and now Claire has to think about her position quite a bit, because she was doing okay for a while, but has drawn all the way down to 22-3. Wants to go back to 30,000, maybe Gee. try and fight for second against Steve. And has a decent starting end here, but not much value. Likely Richie Nomi on the right. I don't know. What do we go? Chanta? Junchan? The, the six so and two so cuts indicate it may just be a hedge towards 79 Sanshiku and then maybe Honetsu. Across the way, one, two, three has been called. Planned Sanshiku, but it may just be Haku, given that's paired up. Yeah, it's Ishanten now for Haku Nomi. And on the left, Similarly, it's just a pin foo type hand, maybe some sort of one, two, three, Sanjuku eventually, but it's a little slow. A lot of slow hands. I mean, this is where Garrick tends to do well, is if he just gets fast hands. Yeah. Uh, interesting choice for, for Garrick there, ends up cutting the three, giving it up with the Sanjuku, but still has Chanta outs here. It doesn't have to be Haku. Right. Can call the eight mon now or the nine pin. 
Or just there's the Haku. Or just get oh. the Haku anyway, and it doesn't matter. All right, six nine pin the weight four in the wall. And it feels like this six comes up from Claire fairly often. Maybe not this turn, just because the six mon would now give you Polianco. Actually, if I'm Claire, I might just want to go hold it too. Yeah, that that would be a route to holding on to that shape. Well, maybe not. Well, you just got nine so this turn, and you go Sun Anko. Your favorite Yaku, right? Right. I mean, I've I've definitely been thinking about it more ever since I missed out at it in the in session one. Well, there's your Dora, and Garrick just doesn't Gee. care. That's the easy chi there for Oliver. Shaw is not conned by Claire. There's no reason for it there. Ooh. My hand's just kind of stuck right now. No one's budging. Except for Steve, who keeps drawing Mon tiles. Steve's getting closer, but it's still not that pretty. Yeah, Steve was the farthest away, so I had the most flexibility. Yeah, uh, okay, this steals in. Dumb. Claire would have had to get really greedy to not uh, to avoid the deal in there, but instead Garrick picks up another cheap and uh, quick hand to send us a doll last. And Steve in second here, and even here, this is an okay result for Steve, especially after that first game. So, of course, he'd love more, and this is the type of hand that may get there. Richie Peiko or Richie Chi Toy Dora 2, or the Hatsu and a Floating Dora on the right. One, two, three, Sanjuku, that's definitely a Junchan type hand across the way. I don't know, just Richie. I'm trying to figure out how you get any value, and I'm just not really seeing it. Oliver's goal here may just be win anything and just keep Claire under 30,000, you know, pay the full payments. And on the left, that is the type of hand Claire wants, though. Potential Richie, Pinfu, Tanya, Sanjuku Dora. Yeah, some people would look at, at Garrick's high pie and say, oh, I, that looks uh, really hard to win. Garrick looks oh. at the high pie and says, I know exactly what to do with this. <laughs> it turns out it will even cut away from the two pin pair, despite having the Haku. It's just going to force to get. It says, I can find a pair later. It's fine. Yeah, like Sanzo would be an acceptable pair. Oh, speaking of Sanzo. Oh, well, there's an Ishan 10 on the left. Huge fill. Cuts three pin now. Perfect Ishan 10. The problem is Claire needs. Hanemon to get to 30k or someone else to throw a Richie stick in. It'd be funny if you just Dama until some Richies and then smash. Boom. Well, now you just go. Yeah, at this point, points are points. The 6 9 looks so bad, I don't like keeping that 8. Claire agrees. I think that's what Claire is deciding to. Bit of a decision here for Steve. Cuts the two. I like this. You keep your Ishan 10, you keep Toy Toy routes, and keep the Dora. Well, and now you just take that by. Yeah, Dora gone. Well, there's a Dora for Claire, another one. And she's like, yeah, oh, doesn't matter. Steve just sumos. That's a couple of these sumos Steve has had in your 2100 dealer. Yakuhai no me hands. Good enough if you just keep winning them. Get a few of them, it uh, adds up into a real hand and has a bit of a mess here. Needs two of the Dora indicator, but if you get it, it's a nice little Richie Pinfu Dora on the right. A few pairs. Floating eight pin, though, not great. Across the way, Richie Pinfu, again, just not really any value. Maybe some shifts later to 3 3 4 or 1 2 3 Sanjuku, going on the left. Pretty standard Richie Pinfu Tanya. Nothing fancy there. Some pretty straight. I feel like Claire probably has the best hand, but I don't really hate anyone's except for Garrick's. Yeah, Gar Garrick's definitely the worst position at this table in terms of the current hands. Points wise, though, he doesn't mind letting someone else win this round. Well, he could just go Cheetoy. I know he hates it, so. That's an extra reason to force him to go for it. <laughs> uh, Ishan Ten for Oliver across the table now. Richie Penfu, maybe Tanya. Ooh, that's a little bit of an upgrade because now you can 
Drop the five pin and walk your way up to Adora if you end up not getting Tanyo. Are you shun ten for Steve? Still needs those two door indicators. Gee, Garrick says this is not Cheetoy. Thank you very much. Anything to avoid Cheetoy. Definitely the correct play all the time. And there's Tempai across the way, trying Jeez. to decide whether there's a reason to walk it around toward the Sanjaku, and then says, No, that's dumb, just Richie. Reach pin for potential Tanyo. One four, and there are six in the wall. A ton of them. And there's one of them. And Claire may just push it because there's not much that's safe anyway. Maybe the nine one first, but I imagine that one pin comes out. You this turn or next. I mean, it's one chance. It seems like a, a relatively safeish tile. Throws the six. Doesn't really like that one pin. Gee. I think this is easy. Chi, yeah, there's Tempai for Garrick. Oh, just Sumo. sumo. Beat Sumo Pinfu. Uda. And the Oro get Oliver almost back to zero. Okay. But the big winner here, of course, is Garrick with that 49. Steve minus 12.9. Claire minus 15.8. And Oliver takes the big hit here, minus 46.1. But of this table, I think Oliver was the one who had the points to spare. Yeah, so that will change things a little bit once we get the uh, standings update. Yeah, Garrick up to 8th at plus 20. Claire at 12th with minus 12.1. And Oliver dropping to 11th, just above her at minus 10.7. Steve continues to climb and is now right behind Dustin at 87, minus 87.1. So what these first two games have done is just sort of shrunk the standings. Everything's moved back towards the middle, and that uh, does not bode well for anyone close to the demotion zone. Yeah, AKA sitting where I am, where you are, isn't particularly <laughs> what I wanted to see. No, but this means it's going to be very exciting moving into the second half of the season. Exciting, but I like having my hair and not pulling it out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be bald by the end of the season for sure. Maybe bald in an A2. All right, some other games we haven't talked about. In A2, Kevin, 51.2. Haru, plus 26. John, minus 12.9. Christine, minus 64.3. And the C1 series we saw a little bit ago, it continues on. Tyler, 22.8. Jackson, 7.8. Sky, minus 5.8. Brett, minus 24.8. And in B3, Jeffrey, 25.1. William, 9.5, Garrett, 3.2, and Nancy, minus 37.8. All right, and uh, that being said, I think we'll go on a quick little break here. When we come back, more action from the American Regime Mahjong League.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We are switching gears, moving on to a B1 series. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on that A1 series as their games continue, but uh, we want to make sure to catch some games in this very tight 16-player uh, B1 division. ID, Matthias, Damien, and Travis will be battling out in this game in South 3 currently, but we'll be anticipating another game to start following this one. Looks like Matthias, our current dealer, uh, with some ground to make up, but... Uh, temp by now, waiting on the 5-8 pin. ID to the right, Travis across the table, and Damien on our left. Eat. Oh, Richie, we're going to see a chase from Travis. Richie, Nomi, oh. and will come out as a Gambit to tile, dealing with the open hand, so we're not going anywhere. Matthias will be picking up the Richie sticks, the home boss. And jump up to 21,000 for being a Nomi hand. A significant amount of points picked up there. Opening up to a high pie that looks like it wants to be Tanya. Uh, we can drop the 9 pin, 9 mon, all the honor tiles, and, and move in that direction. On the right, going to be a reaching most likely. A couple Kanchan shapes to work with. Uh, maybe we build the pick on the middle Pinzu for oh. some lucky draws. Across the way, Travis opening up on the Chun has the Anku of one, so uh, declining to call the Khan yet because that could complete a, a shape, but that's a ton of food potentially with a Khan there in the future. And Damon on the left, also a player who likes to stay closed, aim for Ricci. Perhaps Ricci Pinfu door or Ricci with an Itsu as well with ideal draws. And Matthias still kind of slowly working the way to Atanya. Current shapes pretty conducive to just calling, and I suspect that Matthias has a lot of incentive to open this hand and match the Yakuhai call from Travis across the table. Yeah, Matthias would love to go Tanya with this. We need the four mon, and then this hand really opens. Until then, we have this floating four pin, the floating nine pin you're not really thrilled with. Well, now that we've drawn an Anko, we've got some pretty great shapes. The question is, if there's a second call, do we... Oh, oh, oh we have a Chi, cut the six, get Chanta. Nice. So this would be Chanta, Chun, Dora... With extra foos, this would be 5,200 on the win. Yeah, that was a nice anticipation from Travis cutting the four mon. Giving up the extra door acceptance. Oh, I like the switch here. Yeah, Why would you be going on east? There's an argument that, you're all, that there will be some people waiting on south. That east feels like an amazing wait. Right, both wing being once cut. And it kind of importantly, the dealer having dropped to the east means that no one who... It's useless in some way. It has to be in the wall at this right. point. There's a chance someone else is holding your south pair. Especially Irie with those pawn, with that pond. Now, Matthias has drawn an Anko of the Sanzo as well. So Ishatan for Richie Tanyao with two Ankos. Two Ankos. Leaked and there's in. your east, and that would have dealt in. Yeah, now the question is, how many more tiles until a south is found? Could also switch to the Suji 9, given there are three out, but I definitely prefer just waiting on the, uh, on the south. Maybe just reading this like I'm saying is mochi mochi, and this is the problem you get into when you make this decision. And now it's going to be Richie by Dealer, Richie Tanya. Eat. Wedding on 5-8, and what do you do now? Oh, 6-0, such terrible tile, but... But just shoves it anyway, says, I'm waiting on Suji, it's fine. Yeah, now that there's a... It reaching, might come out right now for Myri. Right. Before, you know, it's Suji to your own pile, but players probably aren't thinking too much about defending against you with Suji just yet. Oh, one Mon's not really safe either. Well, yeah, but don't, you can't do that with all the fruits in here, having discarded three fours. No. If you're going to do that, you'd cut the one one one. Oh, pay tonky. I mean, you're just obligated contractually, aren't <laughs> aren't we, to say you wait on pay tonky? Yeah, hell wait, even better. 
Jigoku Tonki. I mean, Simo. perfect. Oh, just so. All right. He does end up winning it anyway and gets the extra reach kick out of it. We'll get a nice little win here, and I think that puts him in first place. Wow, it does. So apparently the big brain move was to wait for the additional Richie stick. And just sumo. And just sumo, yes. I will be trying that, uh, that tactic tomorrow. All right. Well, Irie has a Yaku high instead. Interestingly, cuts the seven on. It's a very inefficient See. cut here. Normally, you just cut the south. We're going and holding on the Come. Yaku high now. But on the right, just going to go for the quick Tanya hand. And, of course, draws the wrong end with the seven, eight, nine. Across the way, Pinfu, nothing particularly fancy there. On the left, Pinfu, nice little shape in so at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But the rest of the blocks aren't great. And the big question is, can Travis get rid of this 9 so? Yeah, I don't really see a good way to make Itsu here. So looks like we will. Yeah, I'd have already nine, gotten so. rid of it. Because the problem here is if you cheat, you're going to have to cut the 2 pin. Because, of course, Kui Kai can't immediately cut the 9. Yeah, and so your other turn is just pair up the seven or eight anyway, in which case I'd rather have a floating Tanya tile anyway. Yeah, as awkward as the shapes are for ID, it feels like definitely has the best chance of getting tempo or winning this hand, get, considering Gee. Travis is going to be struggling. Yeah, it's given really. where the Travis's hand is. It should be nine, so there's no reason to cut the two pin here. I actually, I really don't like this. I already may just cut two pin here, looking to accept Dora. Oh, no, goes for the Ryankan. Okay. There is no winning tile here. Ignore the light up. There's no Yaku on the right. And you can't even Daimingkan into any sort of win here. The hand just stuck. Well, here's a cotton opportunity. Come. Oh, Khan into Tempai and Adora. And flips it's the... the perfect draw here, and now waiting for the seven, so... so. Flips the six mon to be Dora. That adds two extra Han to Travis's fake Tempai. Well, draws another Dora, and you feel really bad to haven't cut that four pin earlier, but you just eat it. Good opportunity to drop the nine, so here. Yeah, I... Travis should have cut this nine, so probably turn two and finally gets rid of it. But if you kept the three mod like you're supposed to here, you could have had the two, three, four. You'd be in temp by now. Admittedly, furry temp, but way better than your hand is right now. Seven, so only one left in the wall for ID to find it. Sumo. No, oh, that would have been the other door acceptance for Irie. Right. I don't think you could have committed to it at that point. It was... No, I don't think you could have. I guess the one the scary thing about dropping that five pin is if it deals it on the right, it's dealing it to Mongon. Well, you could chi this and take your furry tin tempai. Given where the hand is, <laughs> I probably would. Needs a six, so there is one left of the wall. One versus one. Chi and Tonki is interesting idea for ID. Declines to take that, though. There's a world where Matthias ends up dropping the seven so even. There's another door for Irie, and you just know she's losing it now. Yeah, Travis didn't take the first one, so probably won't take the second one. Unless he somehow ended up on a Tonki. Seems unlikely. Three months safe. Safe against everyone except Matthias, so that always gets shoved. Yeah, here if I'm Travis, I'm not really trying to win the hand anymore. I'm just trying to make it to Ryukoku and not deal in to something expensive. Which, honestly, there can't be that many expensive hands given the number of Dora that have been discarded or called in your Right. Own well, I mean, there's someone showing two Dora and Tanya with a very easily usable five. There's a Dama across the way waiting on four pin. There are only two of Gee. those, but one is actually in the wall. There's a Chi. Will this deal in? Nope, there's the three, so that is safe. Of course, the six, so would not have dealt in anyway, but Matthias can't possibly know that. The 
Oh, that's a oh, and just small. fills the hand. It could take his own for each end, <laughs> cutting the nine mon. Are we gonna end the game with two hitty ten ten? This hand just. Oh no! <laughs> his hand. Oh, <laughs> just sumo, <laughs> and that's first place. Sumo Dora two. Well, that's sure not how I expected that hand to end. <laughs> Everyone temp by two players hitty ten, and the the close. Damien just ends up with the win there. In second place, Travis, 8.6. In third place, Irie, 1.9. Takes the Oyakabri off that last one. And Matthias then takes the minus 20 Uma for minus 33.2. So that bumps Damien almost back to zero. Idea close to zero as well. Travis climbs a little bit, but has a lot of ground to make up. And Matthias, who had been sitting where Damien and ID are now, drops down to negative 47. So this, this uh, B1 division is starting to get a little bit more stratified. Well, of course, we have the guaranteed six promotions. I always say guaranteed because in B1, occasionally get an extra pass. And in the lower divisions, due to hiatuses and such, we want to even the league out to have some multiple of four in all divisions. So it's not – you do not have to get into the top six spots to promote, but that is a guaranteed promotion slot. You're not leaving up to fate. And I suspect this season, because uh, there should be some players returning from hiatus, it'll probably be a little more difficult for there to be bonus slots. Yes, B1 has a ton of hiatus. B1 and B2 both have something like seven or nine each. Which is why we have the condensed 16-player B1. And it looks like they've jumped right into... Game number four. All right. Well, it looks like Irie is first dealer here. Has probably a Tanya hand here. Maybe just reaching Nomi, depending on what happens. On the right, we have a Pinfu type hand and a potential door acceptance there for Travis. Across the way for Damien. Chun pair, non pair. Actually, a whole bunch of pairs. Kugo Chitoy or what about Honroto? Nope, doesn't call the South. Oh, I Come. wanted to see on Roto. Yeah, In the meantime, there on the left, we have Ishan Ten for Chitoy with Rion Peiko upgrades. Okay, we go from one Rare Yaku to another. That's totally acceptable. Feels like that one's going to be very hard to get, though. You could just Chi this cut the nine. That's probably what I'd do. Yeah, I think I'd like the Chi there. The three pin looks kind of hard for people to use, given the number of four pins in your hand. Especially on the left, I would kind of read Matthias as doing like Kokushi or Honitsu in the Dora suit, and that's not what it is at all. Yeah, I want that to end when I'm dealer. I do not like people going Kokushi on my dealer turn. I can think of another A1 player that also doesn't like people going for Yakumans on their dealer turn. It looks like it's going to be rough for Travis to do anything in this hand. I mean, Really relies on drawing the seven so, and that's been three times cut. Let's stream on. Okay, gives up on Chi Toy. And now we have Tempai for Irie. Can wait three so or five so. There is one three so out, but I think it's the better way by far. And Irie agrees, waits on three so for Tanya Nomi. You... The dropping the two so and waiting for the five so. Is a little bit worse in this instance because no. there's no seven so to upgrade the ship into a diamond. So three so does come out and Addy will maintain the dealership for another round. And a win for Sanso, of course. And we see some memeing going on this game as well. But Irie has a couple pairs, probably just a tiny hand though. On the right, Pinfu type hand, a couple pairs, but probably just Pinfu across the way. That hand is ugly. I don't see any reasonable path. And on the left, it's a pin foo, but it's kind of an ugly one. Maybe some draws in Pinzu, and you can turn it into a an Itsu. Maybe now with that, you can end up cutting the nine and maybe the eight and going Richie Pin Fu Tanya. Ooh, a couple nice draws in a row for ID. How long do we hold out for Itsu? Until we see a viable hand, which it still just really isn't. Nine still holds out. Maybe for Sanchuku? I'm not sure how viable that is. 
uh, at least holding the three so to maybe draw a gentleman. Yeah, I might have just cut the one mon instead. Well, now I definitely cut the one mon, so this is reasonable. I mean, it's not ideal, but you'll take it. Technically, you shunt then, but a four. Oh, okay. Gentleman draws. Ew. Three, three so is the normal cut. This is perfect, Ishan 10. It does make the hand a lot harder to call, though. And also, you don't really want to have this 6 so having to come out against a Ricci late. So, I might even suck Gary 6 so fairly soon. Yeah, fortunately, the other player is still a little bit on the back foot here. Yeah, I definitely. When I drop pay, that's a uh, Garrett of this stupid 6 so right now. Notably, Travis, the only player with a Dora, and is in completed shape. And There's your Tempai. Just Rishi Pinfu waiting on 4 or 7. Big scary dealer Rishi. Travis just shoves the 5 Mon. Yeah, doesn't even really care. Well, at the same time, doesn't really have safe tiles, so I don't hate it. Yeah, maybe you could try one. Is that Tempai? No, it's a very wide E shunt, and they're on the left. If you go 2 Mon, 2 Mon, that's going to be the play. Less willing to throw out a five or a six. Especially in a suit you see nothing discarded against a dealer Ichi. Four seven, I think, has four tiles in the wall, two of each. Silly Shantan for Travis and Matthias. And Damien as well, Ishantan. Technically, Damien. Two so seems fine. And yeah, there it goes. So yeah, everyone Ishantan. That is technically Tempai. would be just waiting on five mon for Ichinomi. If you're Ichi on the three. Yeah, it feels pretty bad. We'll just say no, not, not taking that. And maybe if he starts to draw into Suanko, Sanako, or something like that, he might think about fighting again. There's the five, of course. Nope. Oh, no. there goes the four, so deals in. Ichi Pinfu. Yeah, Pinzu was looking like the expensive suit, but turns out... And the aura, and that makes this a pretty decent size hand here for Irie, up to 37.6. Love another dealer turn with two Dora in hand. Not really a callable hand, but if you can turn this into Ricci, there could be a bunch of value on the right. Feels like a Junchan slash Chanta hand. We also have a Yakuhai East pair up across the way. Nicey Peiko, maybe? But maybe just be Richie Nomi. We'll see how that hand develops. And on the left, Richie Pinfu Tanyao, maybe a 4 or 5 6 Sanchugu. So that's a nice little hand. Yeah, we'll see how ID makes use of these Dora. 6 8 9 pin is kind of awkward and. Multiple pairs in the hand. It looks like uh, there's a heavy Eats. emphasis being played on holding these honor tiles. Although... No, just Ricci, and this is Ricci Nomi on five pin. Yeah, so it wasn't willing. Damien to... says no one's ready, so I don't care. I'm just hitting the button. Right, wasn't willing to take this Ricci last hand when he was chasing a dealer reach, but oh, maybe wait one turn. Do you have a wait one turn? Yeah, I would have turned that chat. into Ricci Pinfu. Well, I wouldn't even necessarily take it. I might have even cut the... Yeah, I think Dama would be fine here, because you don't really want this Ipeko as is. So I think Dama there would have been fine. You're just looking for some sort of upgrade. You have the Ipeko especially. But remember, if, if you're Dama here and you draw the five, what you're saying is, I am probably willing to Furry Ten reach you the three-sided, and I'd be fine with that here. I mean, given that this is just Richie Penfu, I think I'm just willing to take the Sumo if I Dama there. But three sided Ricci, uh, that's pretty pretty fine too. Ishanten for Matthias for Ricci Pinfu Tanya Sanchugu. Oh yeah, could could get it all. I mean that's a hand worth fighting for. Well, the four so is kind of dying. You just don't know that. Only one left in the wall. 
Two so looks reasonably safe with the early one seven. Three six in the hand looks terrifying against that, but the three has just come out, so not really an issue. Everyone's managed to dodge so far. Of course, only two of the five pin have been drawn by people who can use them. Now, I imagine you just cut, what, three so? Three mon, rather? Go for that Sanshoku? Nope, just gives up on it. Takes the white to see Shunton. Boom! Pulling the Ishanten for Travis. This is, this is a lot of work for a, a Chantan. Shantanomi needs the 8 so and 9 pin. Con. Con for fun? Fun and flow? Holding it. No. Holding it says I want to do it, but not yet. Maybe for Rinchan. Oh, well, no. Not, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, he just G and got it anyway. You know it's safe. Sumo. Oh, well, Jesus. just Sumo. Reach Sumo. Oh! Or a two. And yeah, that's why I'd take a three-sided for a Rinchi if necessary. Yeah, slams it and wins the Uda 2 for the full Mungon. But it is East 2, and Travis has a Pinfu Taipan. Nice one, two, three, with the one being Dora. Rest shapes aren't great, but fillable, especially get seven mon on the right. That hand is hard to read, but it looks like in Ipeko, Tanyao, Ishanten, looking for five, eight, so, and seven pin. Cross the way, also has a one, two, three, and pin. Decent, better shapes elsewhere. And on the left, a Haku pair, and just reasonably fast shapes. Yeah, and Travis soon to discard this Haku, presumably. Ooh, another Sanzo. And Damon says, I just don't want it. I'd rather hold my floating form on. Six, eight Mon would be the normal cut here. Yeah, just German shapes everywhere. No, cuts the six, goes and plays at six block. This does make you unable to call the Haku at all. Yeah, you can call and go headless, but then you're kind of wishing you just held the six. Oh, uh, well, now you have a Dora, so you may just hold on to it for Itsu or even Dortanki. Yeah, and that, that gives you an excuse to call the Haku again. Oh, two so draw. Yeah. Does miss out on uh, Sanako Isha. Gee! Oh, this feels like a very greedy Dorotanki play. Monster Ishanten now on the right. The shape's improved to Pinfu on top of everything else. Oh, hello, Dora. Oh, okay. It's got to be 3-2 or 4-5 pin. What do you think is better here? I'd cut the 4-5. I definitely prefer that 1-4 shape. Yeah, it looks like you're doing... Poor Damien, just been stuck in Ishant in hell. Can't, can't buy a 5 8 so at all. I mean, they're in the wall. There it is. Well, there it is. Richie, Pinfu, Tanyao, Ipeko. One of each tile for this 4-7 pin weight is in the wall. Should just be nine mon here, shouldn't it? Trust the Sotegawa one so. Eat. Oh, we're just get chase. There's a chase, and that's gonna be a good you just have to cheat a breaky potsu for nothing else in your tempai. One Haku left. Although it doesn't have anything safe, so maybe okay, yeah. Sumo. Oh, there's the eight, just sumo. Richie, sumo. Pinfu, no Ipatsu because of the Chi, no Ura, but they will give Matthias a nice little win there. And we'll put Matthias into second place. Damien in first, now in East 3. Oh my goodness, what is that starting hand? What is this high pie? That is Ishan 10 for Ipeko Honitsu Double Toad. It's Oh Levi. my goodness. Oh wow, this is. And totsu. This is an extended and totsu. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Richie, Ipatsu, Sumo, Ipeko, Onitsu. Third turn? 
no Ura, but still Hanemon, just like that. Third Damien turn. says, don't worry, guys, I got this. <laughs> Seven Han Hane by Dealer. <laughs> well, that's a way to pick up some points. Well, at 54-3, and of course knocks everyone else under 30k, but uh, just Sumo, I guess that is definitely the way to play. And has a great start in here. Tanya Outdoor 2 can just call this down on the right. Pinfu type shape. Similarly, Toyman also going to be aiming for a Pinfu. And Travis on the left, more like a Tanya, but you could still find yourself uh, with a Pinfu, especially after this 3 so draw. So similar hands everywhere except for a dealer who almost certainly will aim for a Tanya with his Dora. Yeah, I just look at Damien's hand. You just call almost anything. I don't think I call 7 Mon, but I call just about anything else. Oh, and there's the 7 Mon. Of course, the 7 Mon. Oh, well, now you can even consider the 7 Mon. Hatsu. At this point, you figure there may not be any left, so you can't really take it, but you're really hoping to pull in that Hatsu and go. Could even turn Suno Honitsu with the right draws. Yeah, I'm trying to imagine what draws would convince him to move that direction. I mean, you draw two mon, you cut the nine pin, draw another two mon. You're just Chitoy Shantan. Ew, Chitoy. Icky. Well, that is Ishantan on the Gee. left for would just be Richie Pinfu. Lots of upgrades. If you can draw a four pin, get rid of that one, turn into Richie Pinfu, Tanyue Peiko. Yeah, interesting call from Damien here. This looks Atos good, but also can just shift to Honitsu, not after drawing the Jiamen and the Sozi, though. It's Travis's turn to collect pin tiles? I'll let that one go. And there's that four pin that Travis desperately wanted. And the hand on the right is getting interesting, but I don't really see much value yet. You see that one one two two six seven seven nine nine, and it just looks better than it actually is. In actual, it's bad. Yeah, that one one two two is gonna be so hard to make something out of. Ishantan across the way for potential three sided Richie Pinfu Dora. Tempo on the left for Richie Pinfu. Should Travis choose to accept this? Dama. Will Dama for now. As should come as a surprise to no one who watches these broadcasts, I would just hit the button. Okay, wait one turn, Karagiri? Wait one Sumo turn, Giri. it should definitely be Karagiri. I do not like the Sumogiri. And I would have cheated that and jammed the gate into this. Alright, so after winning the big hand, Damien looking to just fold out here. Maybe, maybe find a key. Yeah, says I have this big a lead, I don't need to play for more. And I say, there is no such thing as enough. <laughs> uh, it turns out Matthias has drawn the Anko of the one so that does put him each up Simo. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, just so. Uh, oh, see, you should have cheated. Gets the Potsumo with the Pinfu. We'll get 5,200 and close the gap a little bit. And Matthias is dealer here in East 4. Oh. <laughs> not, not quite as OP as uh, Damon's Hand. Still pretty but good. That, is, that is one of the high pie of all time. Do we even need to go over any of the other hands? I guess the one on the left is callable. You can try and shut it down. The other two would normally be okay, just not compared to, you know, this. Yeah, and I wonder if Matthias is actually going to force something like Chinitsu or not, because we did see the West come out. And there are good floaters in the other suits. It doesn't have to be... Honitsu door two. You could do something like Richie Pinfu door two. Well, get through Yonkon now. The shapes are less desirable as is, but Richie door two is good enough, especially as dealer. On, I would insta call. Who's thinking about this three? I guess Gee. Aidy's wondering about going Honitsu and does make the call. Eight mon, eight mon. It will be a, a bit of a long trek to get the Honitsu to complete, but 
Perhaps this is more of a bluff than anything else. Well, with this hand, it's a take what I can get, which is perfectly reasonable. Oh, just draw the four yourself and be Ishan Ten. That also works. Boom. And now I'm mean, Matthias. So this is technically a headless Ishan Ten, but if you pair the four so or eight so up, you will have to discard Dora. And I suspect that is never going to happen. Well, if you draw the eight so, I probably would. If you draw the four so, I don't want the seven so Ricci anyway, given where it is on the board. Chi opportunity. Oh, oh wow, seven. that's three sided. Ricci Pinfu, Dora two, possibly Dora three. And the eight mon is dead, but still two mon, five mon are available in the wall. One of the two mon, two of the five mon. Boom. And Irie just doesn't care. At this point, he's going for it. Headless Ishan 10 now. I imagine Chun comes out. The two pin is safe, but. I think you just shoved the tune. Ooh. And there's your two Mondora, so just waiting for the five Mon now. And there's a five, just one left. That's an easy switch. You got the guaranteed safe five, given the six is pawned and the eight's kind of bad, but that means the seven nine should be safe. Still a set pin in the wall. I mean, it's going to be a long time till we see this final five mon. And yeah, if it's even in the wall at this point. Travis probably can't shove the Dora. Damien will never fight this hand. No. Oh, there's Tempi. Nine pin would be a hell wait. So maybe you just wait on the seven. That's going to be the plan. Waiting on seven Sumo. pin. Oh, oh just Sumo hit. Richie Tsumo Pif Dora 2, and this is the Uda. I can't quite match Damien's dealer Hane, but Matthias will jump into second place and over uh, second place in over 30,000 with a chance at first now. Just so we see it all the time, and Matthias doesn't hit the Ura, so still quite oh. a bit back of first place, but still not in a bad position here. Possible one, two, three, or two, three, four. Sanjku with this hand, with some shifting. And that just pinfu on the right, pinfu, but kind of floaters everywhere. It's not very good across the way. Nice shape in pin. Other than that, eh. And on the left, pay has been called, but that is the occupy for Davian. So just looking to be quick and be done with that. Yeah, all of a sudden, Damien a lot more interested in opening up for something cheap. Got this big lead, and some, suddenly someone's starting to catch up to you. And it's their dealer turn, so you just want to shut this down, move the game on. But doesn't call the 1-1, one -one, just thinks that the shape as is is acceptable. Yeah, I mean, in theory, the 3 monk could just act as the head, so... the <laughs> In theory, okay, in theory. <laughs> Oh, second door, though. That, that's yeah, a better head so candidate. about that. I don't think I want to use three mon as the head now. Yeah. But of course, passing the chi did allow us to draw this, so good good no call. One of my favorite sayings out there, in theory, theory is as good as practice. In practice, it's not. Matthias <laughs> kind of working closer to temp by here, Dian Shantan. Damien's just got excellent shapes with to accompany these two Dora. And ID good Diamon shapes, but the 5799 pin is, is a weak spot in the hand. Yeah, Matthias really for the 7 pin as well. Oh, 345 Sanshagu, let's go. And you imagine you're, if you connect to any of these shapes, you're probably cutting the one so anyway and hedging the Sanshagu. Mm hmm. Tempai on the left for paid or two. Once well, again. that's Ishan 10. So much for Sanshoku. So it's the one so because we can still hedge it a little bit. Uh, yeah, you want the Dora here. If you get the Dora. 
Yeah, that's two good draws. Four so and six so. It's a tile that Travis really wants, but can't open for. Yeah, that's it by Slam the Richie Richie Pinfu. Wait, two five mon. Ooh, door three. Do you go headless or do you dare shove the door out of this five so Richie? Says no, we'll just throw the six for now. Waiting on five pin. Yeah, I hate dropping the six so after the five so Richie. It is, you know, one chance, actually. We haven't mentioned it, but it's technically a nice little hand across. Yeah, Travis has been sitting on this Ishantin for a long time. You can see all these Sumogiri discards. Seven Mon is Suji. I imagine this comes out. May also be terrified to throw this five as well. It doesn't look particularly good. Another one of the outs drawn on the right by Irie. Oh, and there's your four. If you would have thrown the door, I would have already won this hand. So that would have been a gutsy shove. May call Jeez. this down, trying to get to Tempai at the end here. Well, that's Tempai. Eight. A slant the Ricci. Yeah, I think the eight's fine. He's waiting on the six here. There are two discards. And two in the wall. Oh, one in the wall, rather. One in the Only six draws remain. And the five pin's dead. We haven't talked to Yeah, Damien just can't drop it. And it's it Dora. Oh, interesting. The six so. Oh, could have conned it. Instead, Dikoku with three players tempi. Matthias retains the dealership, doesn't pick up any ground on Damien. In fact, technically loses a thousand points as his Richie stick is sitting out there in the middle of the table along with Travis's. Two sticks, two homba for Matthias's dealer repeat. Three pairs is a little awkward for a hand that you'd want to move a little bit quickly in. The right ID might be working towards the 789 Sanchuku with Dora. Chance and of course across the table more pairs for Travis. That hand looks like it's gonna be a slow one for sure. On the left, uh, Richie Pinfu most likely for Damon. Actually, Shanten for Richie Shabo wait two mon west, which this early is kind of okay. But also, Chance well, one of the Shaw's already out, so it's not that you're... not as good. It's like your hell weight essentially. We also get Suji Trap on the two mons. Oh, wait, that's dead too. So you're actually hell weight. <laughs> At that point, probably just taking the Kanchan. Super nice shades for ID, other than the fact that you're Oh, well, now you just got the five, because you can go Ipeko from this. Yeah, you can preemptively go. Instead, you're just going to get the two all together. It's decided to lock in the Shaw's the pair. Doesn't really want to consider anything oh. else. And that's the punish. I mean, it's not a huge punish. You got the five for now, but this could be. Right, it's almost like you're saying, Eat. I'm not going to accept Richie Nomi as an option here. I'd rather wait and for And now it. you feel bad about this, because you're like, I really wish I was Tempai already, because that would have <laughs> dealt it on Ibatsu. There's no way it isn't a Richie here for Dealer. And now you're just kind of seeing all your winning tiles disappear, getting very sad very quickly. Even the ties you need to find Tempai, the one mons are coming out too. Matthias actually taking that similar weight, the Shabo. Slightly better though, because it, it, 
it doesn't incorporate an a, an unco. No, well, it's also better because it uses pay, which is always the correct answer. And it's still in the wall as well as one of the eight pins. Yeah, two outs left, but it's also a dealer Richie, so you don't expect it to be this bad, even this early, but I mean, anyone who draws the pay. Here's an awkward temp by Suji, four pin, seven pin Shabo, with, where a seven pin is an uncle in your hand. And Adi says, you know what? I, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll take this headless instead. Or rather, this Kutsuki. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, this is the plan. Let's just shift it later. I might have even preferred the four pin first to hedge towards it, so if you drew five pin or six pin. Then there's your possibly Peiko behind you. Oh, there's finally Tempi, but at this point, Damien's long since given up. Well, there's Tempi waiting on five, so if you'd push the three bond. Nope. There's still a bunch of missing Suji for this Richie, so. Also, the North hasn't been seen yet. Otherwise, we might have seen it discarded already. Oh, yeah. I think anyone who draws it just shoves it. Dives back into Ishan, then. Tempai on the right, now on Tumon. Of course, Tumon is dead. This is actually a Karaten. Oh, is that Tempai? Yeah, Tempai on the left on six mon. Oh, and there's your eight pin deal, and I imagine you throw the nine though. Nope, just folds out from it. Maybe yeah. you saw some of those games earlier from Garrick and said maybe nine pin Suji, not the best decision. <laughs> Could she back into Tempai discarding seven pin? Or even three mon, but I didn't There's your pay. Well, at this point, your tempo, I think you have to just jam it. You are in first place, and it is once cut, but Don't. yeah, like, even here, you just shove it. No, Aura, so you're kind of sad that he got all those points out of the middle and you paid the home, but, but it's like, whatever, it was the right play. Mm. If you weren't tempi, maybe you could have gotten away from that, but the K10 payments are worth so much more. Yeah, you saw Damon really has he hated the fact that it was only once cut this late into the hands. Right, like, it's like, what? why is this only once cut? Someone has a pair. Made I e just hope it's not dealer shampoo. Right, made an EV read and said, this is, this is worth it, even if I deal it. Yeah, and it is, I think that's always a shove. Interesting high pies here with Haku being the Dora. Well, we have the Dora pair on the left for Damien. Dealer here with a pair of East may go Dora Tonki with it. Or may just call the East and throw the Haku. On the right, a few pairs. Maybe you need Peiko upgrade. He's two, two so or five so. Cross the way. Pin foo. But shapes are a bit of a mess. Oh. Seven so three so would help immensely. And there's our Haku cut and our pawn on the left. So still headless. I think that's actually Rianchan 10 still. Yeah, it is. But lots of acceptance here. Good. I just adds answer. more of them. Now you can also accept the five. I actually don't like cutting. Kind of... Ethan seems to not. You could have accepted the five. Which I guess you still can, but with better better options. If you kept the six in hand. It's not like the eight does anything. That is Tempai on the right for Richie Nami. Looking for a Sun Anko upgrade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, do you dare Richie this against Dora Anko? No, I'm fine with the Dama here. I see, should have kept the six, Mon. Well, Matthias, now Ishantan. Well, if you're Deal, you absolutely challenge this. That's an easy Chi. Chi. Yeah, you just go headless here. It's fine. Haku's 100% safe. Right, he's... <clears throat> and there's our Tempai. Which weight do you want? The two or the three? Now that seven's kind of scary after an eight. Cut, but shoves it anyway. And there's our Tempai on the right. Oh, wait, two, five pin. 
So and two then, pin actually two, and this may be a pot two. Yeah, I think you have to shove yeah. it. Yeah, gets rewarded. Richie a pot two. Just wait for the shape upgrade and gets it. No aura, but that'll at least help Irie stay in second place. And that'll put Matthias in first or third place. Oh, hello. And that's a guy. very good starting hand here. Richie Pinfu Sanshoku or Richie Pinfu Tanyao on the right. Nice little onco of two pin, but the rest of the shapes aren't great. Maybe just Richie Tanyao. Across the way, uh, what do you think of this Daisangen Yoku I keep hearing about? I mean, all the tunes are in the wall. Two of the hots in the wall, one of the hawk in the wall. It's totally live. And that haku's getting thrown. Like, there's no reason it gets kept. It's paired up like this turn. And then on the left. I mean, that's quite good for a Tanya type hand. Maybe Pinfu, uh... yeah. Oh, big backfire there for Irie. Boom. Keeps the door acceptance, gives up on the Peiko, and has the backfire there. <clears throat> but still, Ishan 10 now for Richie Pinfu oh. Sanchuku. Oh, there's our third door, their third dragon pair up. Boom. And now we have a Dora pulling on board. Beat. And there's Tempai at just Richie Pinfu. Boom. But you have two players who are going to shove against this. Damien's like, I thought I had the hand, uh, the scariest hand here. Instead, has to compete with a Dora. You Uncle may Tempai. still have the scariest hand, but it's not there yet. Travis and Travis like, uh, what do I do here? <laughs> a little worried about the Haku for Toy Toy. We'll drop it. Boom. There it goes. This is going to be a, I would throw the East before the six mon, but does throw the six. Yeah, six ends up being Nakasuji, so it's okay. Oh, also, there's the dealer. And Travis smells, smells a rat. <laughs> Awkward spot for Matthias. Dragon still in the wall. East pair, huh? Oh, oh, sumo. oh just Sumo. Shuts it down. Read Sumo, Big Foo. No Sancho. Irie's going to look at the, the law. <laughs> You're not kidding. No, no Sancho. You're feeling a little sad, but you know, looking back at it, you not only dodged the uh, Tanya Dora 3, but also the Daisanga Nishan then. All right, well, Irie gets another dealer turn. A great starting hand here. Ishan 10. No, Rian Shan 10 still, because you have uh, one three. On the right, Travis with the double non chance. Door in hand. Across the way. Now, Sanchuk with Dora, likely. Nishan 10 headless now for Irie. He should just probably get five. He's still holding on to that five pin. Um, perhaps gonna set up this Sotogawa on the one so and Tanki on it. Tanki reach you later. Or just draw the seven pin. Connect in a different way. Here's that Boom. south. Travis, pull him. Now you're just looking for a pair or somewhere, and that's not the one you want. Ugh. We'll Let's hold see. it. These are more efficient shapes. Yeah, you're just not thrilled with it. And speaking of pairs, there is one, though, and Travis's hand needs two so and six nine so. Matthias gets that door out of there. Not going to hold it any longer. Well, this should just be one three so now. No, goes headless. Might like the idea of Tuso coming out from ID's hand. Given these discards, not necessarily wrong. But, oh, actually, this is a 410 problem. I haven't thrown three so earlier. Yeah, probably just comes right back out. You could take Could the also headless. cut three Mon and go headless again. Gives nope, him, says that's enough. Gives a careful consideration to that option, though. 
And we haven't really talked about it, but Damien's... Yeah, that's getting close to Sadako. And the Talzin needs... But the hand is just stuck. It's not budging. As is the case a lot of times with Anko-based hands. So here's Tempai. I will slam the Richie Richie Pinfu. Oh, and they see this could have been Tempai, but wanted that one three shape. This could be Tempai on six nine. <clears throat> Does keep the one three around. It is safe tiles, so it can move her around a bit for now. You could not really save here. It goes continues. Yeah, to I think here. seven eight's fine. I'd definitely throw the seven first though. Sumo. Oh, just Sumo. Reach Sumo Pinfu. Same exact situation as last time. And no. Aura this time, though, so that's going to be a much bigger win for Irie. Pushes her towards 34,000. Still third place, though. But, oh, look at that hand. Especially mm -hmm. if you compare that door up, you're absolutely salivating over what this could be. On the right, we have the double dawn again. Can just call and go. The question go on it's you. If that pay cut, the answer is probably not. Just want something out of this across the way. Another chance at Daisanga. This one a lot more work though. Yeah, we're gonna we're probably not gonna make one uh, Daisanga out of this one. Especially when you see the dragons there on the left, so there are a couple there. Uh Haku's <laughs> Haku's dead at this point. And on the left, seven eight nine Sanchu's probably route. Not really anything else. And Irie has a nice 1 2 3 in her discards. Never what you want to see when you have a hand that starts this well. <laughs> oh. Could technically be tempt by Richie Pinfu on 5 8, but I think the way she played this is reasonable. Yeah, barely normal cuts just backfiring horrifically. I wonder if Travis is going to end up with Chitoy on the right. Ew, cheat toy. Is he shunt then? Do our pair, by the way, Home. for uh, Damien dropping the other uh, dragons. We'll just slam a Richie waiting on the Shabo. Ooh. I almost want a Dom on this hand. Because I can draw into Sanchoku in the Manzu. And have a Diamond Richie. And if the Hatsu comes out, I can still roam for Bongan. See, there's no five non left wall, only one Hatsu. ID holding that. Home! Ooh, Travis fighting two with the Toy Toy Chance. Ishan 10. Of course, that 1 4 so is really hoping that's the way that he can sumo it himself. I, I do 9 mon seems fine. Probably preparing to Richie on the door Tonki. Oh, yeah, for sure. 3 so seems safe enough. This would be Tempi, but there's no way you call for Tempi. I think probably deciding where the call ch and then cut 3 so, 3 so. Right, because there's an Itsu shift. With potential door tanky, but I think passing it's fine. Honestly, where Irie is, giving up your dealer turn, not even the worst outcome here. Well, there's your Hatsu. Damien now drawing dead. It's a matter of, okay, now do you take it for K10 with 12 tiles left? What do you think of Chi Cut 1 2 so? You're a little scared of that toy toy on the right being the only issue. Hmm. I don't mind cutting the Sanzo here. Home! Oh. That is a Toy Toy Tempai with double south. That's a Mungon. There's always one Gee. tile up the wall. I will call. Has one more draw to find Tempai. Misses. Uh, 
And you kill Kufau. And so three players holding temp by Matthias with that door. Yeah. Talking. Everyone knew that. Hot that will send us into south to Travis. In last place, the only player below 30,000 needs to find something in this high pie. It's not terrible. At least there's reasonable opportunity to find a reach here. If you're desperate, you can even cut 1 so 1 so 9 so for Tanya. The right tune pair. Door acceptance in the form of a 6 mon floating tile. And David's probably uh, completely fine with opening up for a cheap hand, especially with the 1,900 sitting in the middle of the table. Across the way, Matthias. Well, any sort of win here is going to get into first place, given that pot. So going into South 3 through Jail of Turn, that'd be perfectly acceptable. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice door draw. Gee. Yeah, but the problem is that Hand Edge has a pair, but it's not going to ever be Ping Fu unless you can manage to turn this into Itsu. But if you do end up with a pin, Ton, Shampo, I guess it's okay. But you see that draw, you really want to go Sanshuku. Yeah, I, we can always Ton, Ton, discard later and move this to Ping Fu. I right, opening up for South Atos, okay. In the door and possible Sanjuku. Well, that, the problem here with that Chi is Sanjuku kind of dies. Ooh, Nine Pit was an interesting draw for the Itsu, but let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think I prefer cutting the 8 pin there. You're not using the 7 that often, but when you are, it's fine. You can still use the Itsu as your pair for Pin Fu. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say cutting the east there, but I realized that didn't make much much sense Gee. and was mind blocked until you revealed the 8-pin was the cut I was looking looking for. Well, oh, there's Tempa. You just slammed that one. Yeah, Travis ma managed to make this into something after some really awkward shapes. Pulling the Ankham 9-pin was huge. Now the Diamond Weight 3-6-pin. Four tiles in the wall. This is an east on 10 cut. Maybe even just cut east east, but if the south comes out, I imagine it gets pulled. No, just folding. The well says, are you sure? Could go Tanya. Could go South South. Just did six with the five. Five on Nakasuji. Well says, I, you could be Ishantan. And Matthias says, I don't care. We're sticking with the plan. Is it only to uh, shift? Somehow this is actually working out. Irie's hand getting very scary, though. I don't think she'll ever throw the 3-6. Could just be south-south, though. Nope, just cutting the one for now. Yeah, I think if you've decided you're never cutting 3-6, south-south is probably the better Mawashi. But I think the one pin discard indicates that ID is probably willing to take Tempai if it gets there. And Matthias not willing to drop the 7, even though it's Suji. Uh, m probably more because he just doesn't ever want to drop the South. Here's that decision to take Tempai. And if so, which weight? Also has the benefit of shifting Tempai. Oh, oh there's a deal in. It is reaching only with a whole bunch of Fu and Nox under 30k, but the 50 Very rare 50. One on 50, not normally how you see hands built, but if you just get the Anko and that's it, you take it, especially with dealer grid weight. And dealer has a kind of a mediocre hand here. Maybe even just Tanya. I cut the nine mono one, two. Also, Itsu potential in mon if you don't. On the right, Hatsu pair, probably just call and go. Across the way, ooh, that's a huge start. What is that hand? That hand is... Is that Ishantan? It yeah, is. technically it's Ishantan. Four pin would be a nice little draw there. 
And on the left, Haku Pair. You want to go Honitsu, but the draws just don't look like they're there for it. Ooh, second Dora is... Well, second Dora, so now you just play it directly. I'd cut three pin. Yeah, there it goes. And similarly, Ayer says, I wanted Honitsu, it's Honitsu, I don't care if the shapes are bad. Yeah, Matthias has a decent chance of ending up on the shuffle weight if he wants to use Alphadora. Nine pin, eight bottom. And Travis definitely building towards Tanya oh. now. This is a couple times where Travis's high pie has, has not looked very promising to me, but has, is somehow managing to make it look better. That's there tempai. is Tempai. Eat. Oh, you have to take it. Yeah, the other option was to cut Dora for the 4 7 pin weight. Don't really want to cut Dora against the Honitsu in the Dora suit. So it's going to be a Shampoo and 8 Mon 9 pin, Rishi Dora 2 or 3. 9, so it just misses the Patsu there. Still all four tiles in the wall. And Irie just trying to scramble around this. I think you go two mon, two mon. Could go Cheetoy if you want to cut the four mon. And that's going to be the play. Oh. Oh, God. You're just Cheetoy. Sanso Cheetoy? It's also Eat. like one chance. We'll just slam the Richie. Figures it's good in the wall and is correct. Sanzo is three in the wall. The thing is, the other side of this, the 8-mon, 9-pin shampoo is four in the wall. Both weights completely live. That's incredible. Once again, we play the game. Who does the wall favor? It's Travis! Sanzo! <laughs> hits the... Not no, but another. No, or, uh, but does get 21,200, and that's going to boost him, I believe, all the way into first place. Wow. It was looking like a, a tragic game for Travis. Everyone hitting a huge dealer sumo up until this point, and all of a sudden it's Travis in first place. Five home by now. Man, that's a pretty good. Now, look, looking towards uh, Richie Pinfu, Dian Chantan. Not quite seen the Sanchoku yet of these shapes. Damien, uh, historic acceptance, but Kanchan, Penchan, Penchan, very awkward shapes to start the hand with. Two door across the way in Matthias's hand. And another shape, so we are two away from top by. Of left. Daddy looking towards perhaps a Pinfu type hand. Too many pairs, in fact. This looks like a bad Richie with no value. Haku pair up there for Irie. Can just call and go here, but maybe looking for more value. Now, of oh. course, in fourth place, and has to worry about the minus 20 Uma, potentially, now that Travis has come back. Yeah, you'd hope that someone would drop below, given how close they are to 30,000, but... You have to win enough value to make that happen, and it might be forced. Well, just draw Dora. It's an interesting choice here. Two so is the normal cut. Cork, why is two so the normal cut? Well, because with some very creative shifting, there is a song Shoku. <laughs> Boom. But doesn't matter, but gets punished immediately anyway. Yeah, uh, Travis probably looking at the one so thinking that's pretty live in the wall. It is just the well with two first. discarded, Gee. not really. That is a tempi for ID. If she wants to shove Dora, you can tell she doesn't want to. She wants to go to Artanki, but thinks better oh. of it. And now realizes, Gee. oh yeah, and just rolling. Realizes why the three mon wasn't coming and the just sumos. Yeah. A sudden sudden danger of the Dora call and then everything's good. Everything's good again. Alright, South three. 
and Huck is the door. Nothing up. fancy here. Floating door up, but nothing fancy on the right. Nice little six, seven, eight, so and seven, eight, mon, but the rest of the hand's a bit of a mess across the way. Probably the best hand, pinfu, eight, so and three, so would really help. But on the left, maybe a six, seven, eight, sanshuku, but you have so many pairs there, it's kind of hard to use everything. You use Danyao. My first instinct when looking at Matthias' hand was to count the Kokushi tiles. And then I saw the Geomen shapes, and the idea went away. Starting to pair up these kind of useless otter tiles. West is even twice cut at this point. I wonder if Matthias is thinking about shifting into Honitsu. Interesting, Damien throws the three pin back, thinks the one mon is more useful. I might just head Cheetoy or Ipeko with this. A third door drawn. Now, the question is who bites first? Who will discard the Dora and release it from everyone's hand? The answer would probably look to be Travis, who's given the hand. But the answer is Matthias, who gets rid of it a couple turns ago. But it does not immediately cause all of them to flow out. And Damon finally improves He's enough. He's ten, though. And holding the six month for the Sanchuku draw. It's four pairs now for Matthias, who could conceivably make Honitsu Chitoy. Ugh, that's a really annoying draw there for Irie. Do you cut four or five and just sell out on Itsu? No, I agree with this. This goes for the Sanshuku. And would be Pinfu anyway. Yeah, it has better shapes, right? Pinfu and... Significantly <laughs> better shapes, but much harder to get the actual value out of it. in this Kutsuki Shantan after making an uncle with a 5 so There's temp 5, but that is an ugly one. You do have the Suji Trap 9, Slam but there is one of those out. <sighs> Says, no, not doing it. No, not this time. <laughs> Hasn't watched enough of, Gar of the A1 Garrix game. That Sud Trip Nime has been on a winning streak. If we drew the seven so, I, I kind of like this play. Nice upgrade to Tanya for Travis. There's your Tempai. This is Pinfu. Maybe we'll see the Dama here, but I just slam it. Yeah, I didn't need points. Richie, Pinfu, possible Sanshoku. Of course, the sixes are one left and the threes Beats. are one left. And there's going to be an immediate chase for Richie, Pinfu on 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven significantly better. Home. There's one of those fours. That's going to be a chase, I imagine. Just Dama's here. Waiting on Tumon 8, so. Tanya. Sumo. Oh! Oh, and there's the expensive end. The Sumo Richie, Sumo, Pinfu, Sanshugu. Any or will be Hanemon, but we'll just take the Mongon and jump out all the way into first place, just <laughs> like that. And now it's Damien who has to worry about everyone at 30,000. We've had so many lead changes in this game and they haven't been small lead changes either it's been mongon and hanemon and then the dealer hanemon but yeah. matthias is dealer here just trying to get something out of this to try and get the buffer up preferably take first place but at minimum just get, get out of this game with a plus minus zero maybe a tanya have got nine mon and one one so on the right couple pairs not much there 
probably Pin Fu, maybe Tanya Taipan. They have so many pairs, you almost want to get a Chi Toy. Across the way, good shape in Pin. Everywhere else is a bit of a mess. And on the left, a few pairs, but just a whole bunch of mediocre hands. None of them are good, and none of them are bad. Just a whole lot of meh. Feels like with dice, probably gonna end up cutting towards a Tanya in the future. Now Ooh. that gives Damien an excuse to go Honitsu or Toy Toy, probably Honitsu, which would be first place if you can pull it off here with two Dora. Presumably three, given those shapes. Now one West has come out already. Oh. Actually, both of the West have come out. But have to be the first one to win the hand, and Travis is trying to put the pressure on. Ishanten for Chi Toy now, as well on the left for Damien. Matthias pulled in a very important 8 pin, followed by a 7 pin. So now Ishanten with two diamond shapes. I like holding this 4 pin because you can still draw 2 pin or 4 pin or 5 pin and cut the, the 1 so pair. 5 pin especially would be ideal for the 3 for 5 Sancho chance. Well, there's Tempai. That's an easy call. Uh, yeah, and this gives you the 6-9, so you don't even have to worry Eats. about the Tanya, but this is going to be a dealer Ricci on 2-5 mod. But this also gives the Ricci stick so that any win by Travis is first place and drops Matthias temporarily under 30k. Yeah, that 1,000 points could have huge impact here. Well, there's the six. He may just be in a situation to have to jam it. Interestingly, the deal in here, not the worst outcome, even with fourth place confirmed. Oh. But instead works around with the cheat toy. And there's a pawn there on the right, but this is now a toy toy shift, but that five mon will deal in if it gets there. And now a question for oh. Travis. We'll take the eight. This is going to be a pawn and deal oh. in on the five. Richie Nomi. And the Aura is going to jump into first place and knock Irie into third and below 30k. But we're not done yet. South 4 1. A tuned pair here for Dealer. Decent shapes everywhere. Just call and go on the right. 2 2 2 4. So maybe some sort of Tanya there on the right. Cross the way. Haku pair. Call and go. Which, again, just with the scores, that's probably good enough, especially to get any sort of door extra value. And on the left, a Richie Pinfu type hand. With a door there as well. So a whole bunch of better than average hands. Actually, another lead change. Wouldn't expect anything less at this point. And Damien now has a target, an easy tar easier target for uh, escaping last place here. Chi Tanya door will be good enough for him. Matthias, though, great shapes can just call and go. Well, with that shape, I don't even know that you want to call and go. And yeah, it just clearly accepts the shapes as they are. I would still cut the seven one instead. And yeah, now you, have, you see why. Oh, okay. oh, oh, uh, I don't like that one. Yeah, it, with the seven so cut, it feels like you are saying I am not going to open my hand. So then to, to, to open the hand to turn around and open and go headless. Ugh. Well, like, even here, you've probably got the 2-3, because the 1-4 is looking so bad. And the 5 eight's pretty sneaky against you. Yeah, I haven't got the 9-7, but ugh. Ishan 10 across the way. Uh, maybe it's a slightly better shape with that 9-1 pair up. On the table, we'll see this Diamond discard and start to wonder just how Tempai Matthias is. Yeah, my guess is I'd be reading this basically as it is. It's some sort of Ishant and shift late. Next to Dashi, probably a little scary. Well, that is a Tempai, but that is not a good Tempai. Doesn't take it, just throws it. I'd still go headless. I, I think I'd cut the six pin there. Or even the six so isn't terrible. Like... Now you would have sumoed, and now you'd have a very interesting three-sided furry ten. 
Ew. Wow, oh, Matthias's hand just gets more and more annoying. <laughs> well, now you have another Dora. Dora, so this is your other choice. Yeah, but again, if you had that one so you could reach you with two Dora. Exactly. Wait on the 6-9. You have to cheat this. You have to cheat this. Gee. Six with the five eight, of course, two eights are out, so only one eight and then the fives, but correctly reading the five is actually okay in the wall. Bit of a decision point here for Irie. Cuts the eight seven, planning to go Tanya with this. Oh, and there's the six. Every Tonki has just been wrong. Could call for Tanya Dora one, but looking for more. oh, and there's the backfire on Irie. This hand, whole, whole, the whole hand seems like it's been nothing but backfires. Okay, finally for three different people, it's been nothing but backfires. This but is a 2D has 10 managed 10 to salvage something. It's a Shabo. One yeah, cell. it's furry ten. Oh no! Sumo drops the door oh, just even. Sumo, <laughs> and we're gonna do this all over again. <laughs> All right, well, after that mess, <laughs> Matthias extends his lead a bit, and it's south for two now. A uh, bit of a ugly hand here as one Dora. Maybe he's just trying to go Tanya, which is so hard to do with these shapes, but it's an idea. Maybe Itsu and So on the right. We have pair, maybe five, six, seven songs. You can shift in Mon, but he's just reaching anything. Especially with the 600 in the middle across the way. Oh, by the way, we have an actual ham. <laughs> Especially if you cut that one pin pair and turn this into Honitsu, Shaw, Dora, and maybe more. Maybe even Suanko if it goes a different way. And you're selling out. Going on it says, forget it. It's Honitsu. I'm playing to win. And on the left, that Gee. is a decent hand. Has a floating door. Would love to connect to it. Ooh, that 7 is a nice bowl. Technically, Ishan 10, but you don't even really want that Ishan 10. Yeah, Kanchan, 4 pin or 7 pin would be a draw to Tempai, but... Ooh. Well, I think you have to pull in the 4 there. The question is, what do you wait with? You are Ishan 10. But yeah, just get rid of the south here. I cheat at 8. Yeah, just go Tanya with this. The hand's a mess. Ooh, Dora Connector versus the 6... Mon or the Hatsu. Well, the two isn't good because the Shampoon's awful. And if you draw the one, then you're waiting on door. And if you draw the three, you've pulled the four and cheat the one already. Yeah, I kind of like this. It's going to be a little sad if you draw Dora, but it was going to be hard to use that anyway. Well, with this much value, you could even consider just going off suit and just completely shocking everyone. Damien actually just dropping the Dora. See, I can't afford to have this in my hand any longer. Boom. Matthias calls it the tempai. a tempai for a dealer. It is just Tanya. Like I said, let's <laughs> just call that eight, and then the hand more or less played itself afterwards. I see compare will probably oh seven seven okay pulling all the shapes now a Dora draw Dora has come out from two players but you and you can see a third across the way this you, is the if last you've paid Dora. attention to sumo gear you'll shove the three if you haven't you won't you just throw hot to every time here tempai waiting on seven mon so it'd be sha honitsu with a Dora from Mondo. which. Yeah, oh, you're right. Oh, doesn't matter. Sanzo went again. <laughs> Matthias with the just sumo plan really is working. Look, one Han is good enough, especially your dealer in South 4. Extends the lead, and this is where you're going, can I, like, turn Agariyame on and end the game right here? Because I'm fine with this. Yeah, Matthias just wants one more sumo, and then uh, then end the game. The, as the only yeah, the unfortunately, that's not how this works. Someone else has to win. Or you have to be not tempa at the end of a hand. Dealer here, though, has a pretty good hand here. Two Dora. Maybe just go Tanya with this. Now you've drawn another Dora on the right. Pinfu. Really need the eight pin. Oh. Not too much there. Across the way. Maybe an Itsu in So. Three model would also help significantly. On the left, 
Hatsu has been called, but I don't really see much value there because even Hatsu door one with the Homba would still not be enough unless it's a sumo to even overtake third place. But probably Fell just had to call and try something with his hand. Maybe also trying to move this to a Doratonki type shape. Still, dealer has to have the best hand here. Oh, at this point, absolutely. That is an amazing dealer hand. Kind of depressed the three mon wasn't kept. I'd have kept that over the eight, so. And they would probably be in the same Not spot that you anymore. have any sort of preference for two, three, four Sanchuku hedges. No, no. That's just. It's only the best Sanchuku in the game. That's a backup pair. Jamie says, I like the pair I have right now. That's a tempo. Ugh, you're... Uh, well, now you just... Ooh, Dama's this. I actually like this. Pinfu, Dora 2, possible Tanyao. And the floor has just come out. Yeah, if anyone shows the floor soon now, that will be death. Yeah, the one so just feels like it comes out from anyone who draws it, just with these pawns. I normally hate Dama, but I think the game is always different in South Floor. There. And I actually like this one quite a bit. There is one four so in the wall, three one so. Oh, Travis! You feel a little three. sad if you're the one that sumo's over. Remember, if you sumo, you've knocked everyone under thirty k, so your goals met anyway. Right, you're still picking up twenty six, all plus Lomba. This is where you're looking. Can I cut the three? No, you can't. You have to shove the six. I wonder if it, there's anything that Matthias will see that will convince him to slam Richie. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, there's our one so, and there oh. it goes, and there goes Travis under 30k. I believe that drops him to last temporarily, at least, and Matthias now just cruising. 44-5, and second place to 27-5, and that's Irie. But Matthias has a Dora and. Decent shapes, not great ones, but decent. Now possibly Peko and two Doras, a nice little upgrade. And for ID on the right, there is a door in hand. Uh, awkward Penshaw in shape, though. Really needs to find a three mon. There's only two of those left in the wall. Travis, will this finally be the hand to end things? At this point, not really thinking about getting first anymore, just trying to avoid last, maybe take second place. Mongon would be enough to put him in over 30,000 as well for a positive finish. But he's building towards top. Oh, doesn't want the seven pin. Maybe he has dreams of Saranko. Left for Damien, very standard hand, moving towards a Tanyo Pinfu style shape. And there's the three mon that ID so desperately needed. Two players looking pretty reasonably strong here. And of course, we have the dealer with Eddie Peko shape. Surely this is the hand where dealer's run ends. Oh, six is a nice fill. Nice little upgrade there for Dealer, but still, a 3 bond is the tile that is everyone seems to want. But there's our Tempai on the right. It's 3-so. Will we see Sanzo deliver again? Only there's one. only one left in the wall. Matthias no, I mean, Matthias has no reason to get involved in this, because even if this goes to a draw, that's perfectly fine. Irie gets second at 29-5. You get the 20. Uma, everything's great. Ooh. But now you have three door, you have to at least think about it. Yeah, has been able to play Genbutsu so far. Six mon, two so, eight mon, just following ID's cuts. <laughs> I 
Oh, I'm shoving. I'm going nine. So I wanna, I wanna fight this now. Note that dealing into some really awkward hand is the only way you can drop out of first place. But there's so much value here. I want to fight this so much. There's the deal in tile. Yeah. Oh, and and it says, no, three so <laughs> is not it. So and this is probably going to be just a draw at the end of this hand. Unless we see it get shoved by Travis, which looks unlikely, given the hand shape. Right. Let's go west, west, west. And I don't know with a seven so pair in hand now. Start nine so looks a little bit safer. Yeah, Travis isn't gonna fight this either. And this three so would be tempi if Matthias will push it later. Gee. refuses, does not trust any of these Zotiles. Could have pulled for Tempi, but would have had to throw the four mod there on the left for Damien. Nine so passes. Actually, Matthias has one more draw for Tempi. Does not hit, though. Boom! Oh, gets another chance, and hits! And says, I'll shove it this time. Do you push the four pin here? Or just end the game well, what's your as safe the tile? only player? Yeah. And now you, you're you like, really? I didn't want this again. I just wanted to fold, but that was the safest tile. <laughs> and Damien's probably like, I was I was happy going to New Koku. Now we have to play another game because I pwned Matthias back into Tempai? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And Matthias says, uh, I'm not trapped with you. You're trapped with me. Boom. It has a Dora here and maybe a Tanya, but more likely towards a 6-7-8 Sanshiku type hand. The best hand, though, is on the right. That is woo. Probably just Richie Tanya, but with 2,500 in the middle, could even just call it down. The 1,000 would be enough. Across the way, trying to get that to Honitsu, but it's a long way off. And on the left, Planning to pull in the south and just be done with his hand. Yeah, with Dora 3, that is significant. South not readily available just yet. Ishan 10 now. Matthias, with all the shapes he needs approaching Tempai. I just sitting on the C shot for so long hasn't been able to get anything. Oh, well, there's out. our tempi. Do you wait on pay tonky or four seven mon? Takes the four seven mon and dealer may just deal into this. Gee. Uh, on the other hand, we have tempi on the right for just the Tanya Nomi five eight pen. If dealer deals in, would that be enough of a swing with the five homba? Uh, I'd be really close. I don't think so. Let's see, 95. It's a 19 And then one. one stick, so no, it'd be 100 short, I think. Wow. And so oh, seven. there's a deal in. There is a deal in, but it's not from dealer. And that's going to give Damien a pretty big win there. 10,500, but Matthias, the big winner, 30.5. Doesn't get the plus 20 only because Damien gets that big win on the end there, 10.9 to salvage something from it. Irie was looking good, and boy, she swung around a bunch in that game, minus 7.5, and similarly, Travis swung around a whole bunch of that game too, and ended up, unfortunately, there at the very end, dealing into a pretty big hand, minus 33.9. Yeah, it felt like Travis was going to get a fourth place in that game, and then had a huge dealer, Hanuman Sumo, to put him into first place, and unfortunately for him, sort of bled the points back out, but... Uh, we have to look at the chart for this because there were so many lead changes. Like in South 4, it looked like nothing happened all game. You wouldn't have believed there were... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm looking at the chart. This is hilarious. <laughs> you wouldn't have believed that there were two dealer Hanuman Sumos and a dealer Mangan Sumo. <laughs> because they were they were all within like 5,000 points of each other at that point. 
but the game was 23 hands long, 77 minutes and 32 seconds. Just an and link posted there in chat if you want to click it. It's kind of nuts. <laughs> I wonder if that makes the list of the longest games. 77 minutes? Certainly up there. It does. It will make the longest games list. It will take third place overall. Congratulations to this B1 table. <laughs> Twenty three hands insane. And uh maybe on that note it's uh a good spot to take a final look at the standings, make sure we are all set with everything that's gone on in B one division. This was the final game for their series. Damien will finish at negative zero point five, currently the Saki Award leader in B one, ID negative ten point seven stays about same place. Matthias jumps up to negative 16.7 and Travis uh, still in last place in the division. Definitely going to be a battle. And it... Definitely going to be a battle for the uh, lower portion of the promotions it looks like. Stanley uh, in very good position moving to the second half. Saren Kaz doing quite well themselves as well. And uh, I think, uh, Quark, you might have been about to mention the other result from the A1 League that we were watching. And the third game of the series, Claire took a positive, uh, took the first place there, plus 24.3. Oliver, positive 10.6. Garrick, negative 7.5. Third, Steve, negative 27.4. Fourth place. Looks like the big hands in that game were... Claire and Steve exchanging Monk on dealings to each other. However, Claire was the dealer at the time of her win, so she ended up picking up the net gain there in a pretty tightly contested match. Well, that being said, it looks like. That will be the uh, final game for the evening. Uh, we certainly had a ton of wild action. That last game, I think, was a pretty pretty fitting end to the evening, though. That marathon of a match with Matthias coming out on top. Glad we could see some uh, games from all around the league, though. A C1 to A1 to the middle of the league and B1. Very uh, fun games all the way through. If anyone watching would like to be a part of the league in the upcoming winter season, you can certainly check out our website, americaricci.org. The registration is live. You can register all the way up until December 4th, and then the season will start a couple weeks, uh, I believe three weeks after that point for the new year. And then, of course, if you'd like to check out our upcoming broadcasts, we may have one this Thursday afternoon. Uh, be sure to check us out on Twitter slash X and also to follow us on, on Twitch to make sure you know when we go live. And of course, if you'd like to see any of our previous broadcasts, those are all available on our YouTube channel, tinyurl.com slash ARMLYT, or you can just use our tag at American Ricci on YouTube as well as all our socials. Looks like that will be it for the night. Thanks, Korak, for joining me in the commentary. All right, been a whole bunch of crazy games, and I think that one points an exclamation point on the evening. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing uh, how things go in Cincinnati this weekend. Uh, I know I'll be there. I know a lot of the American Reaching Mahjong Long, uh, League players will be there as well. Can't wait to see you all in person, and can't wait to see you in the next stream, and we'll look forward to then. Have a good one, everybody.